Hello everyone. Welcome to SGN Tech Forum. In this video, I'm going to discuss and demo new feature called ETA or encrypted traffic analysis. Why ETA? Since more and more businesses are now going digital and they are relying on encryption technology to hide uh, or hide their flow information or maybe as a part of compliance for security or, or security, uh, the traffic traversing from source to client is now encrypted and this gives an opportunity for malware or uh, other threats to happen in, in the business. So while using traditional NetFlow, we collect all this information like for ad, uh, source and destination addresses, port, how many bytes and packet uh, count in the flow. In addition to that, using ETA, we can collect intraflow metadata information or information about the event that occur inside the flow. Um, so, and this becomes even more important in case of encryption because a deep packet inspection is no longer viable uh, when the traffic is in, encrypted. So that's why the future is introduced called ETA. ETA is basically focused on identifying malware communication in encrypted traffic uh, through passive monitoring, so it doesn't in inspect uh, or uh, de-encrypt uh, de the flow. It just look at the pattern, passively look at the flow and uh, identify some pattern. So it's like more like IDS signature uh, uh, mapping. So what kind of information ETS extract? ET extract two main data element called initial data packet and SPLT, sequence of packet length and times. Initial data packet is a initial flow, inspection of initial flow because in, in a TLS based uh, communication, the initial server hello packets are exchanged in clear format, which gives us a lot of valuable information about the flow. And sequence of packet length and time is a unique way to identify how the flow is behaving. Most of the malware. Uh, malware threads they have a certain kind of uh, uh, flow behavior so SPLT uses that to match with any malware and our above content is taken from CVD is originally so let's see how we can use ETA to find malicious activity uh, you can see that we have live a net network on my left side my switches um, a APs and wireless controller they send telemetry data uh, and uh, this telemetry data is sent to stealth watch Cisco stealth watch where they have cloud-based cognitive analytics enabled which can uh, uh, which can look through this data and identify for any uh, any signature in any malware det detection or mal malware signature which and this cognitive analytics subscription is updated uh, very frequently from Cisco. So, what are the configuration uh, we need to configure the NetFlow? Uh, sorry, ETA. Uh, we need a flow record. So, and this uh, is traditional uh, NetFlow record. But the limitation is we can only have five triple matching when when we want. To use it with ET analytics that's why you can see I have a match on IPv4 protocol source and destination address and source port and destination port then on global level we are going to enable ET analytics set, set the flow export destination and uh, uh, you and you can enable ET analytics only on physical interfaces so this is one of my physical interface where I'm enabling uh, ETA and also for uh, wireless traffic I'm configuring the ETA analytics under VLAN configuration because only under layer 2 VLAN you can apply ETA analytics some verification and now let's go ahead and configure it on route router itself now I'm going to show you the ETA configuration on device itself so this is my device and I have a client connected to this 
show authentication session, you can see on T102, where our ET analytics is enabled, I have a client and uh, maybe I can show you what is the IP address provided to this. Okay. So I have a dot one x authentication uh, 92.17 that's the client and that's using dot one x now let's see the netflow config first show netflow we had five triple matching now let's check exporter config sending the netflow configuration to my udp director which is sending it back to stealth watch collector then i'll show you the monitor monitor is calling exporter and the record and it has been applied to the desired interface also let me show you the et analytics config itself you can see I have ET analytics enable defining a flow export destination and also I have applied this ET analytics on a VLAN layer to VLAN and this VLAN is my wireless VLAN. Alright, so this is for my wireless users. Now we are going to see what what we are uh, uh, seeing here so let's check the netflow cache show flow monitor cache i would like to see it in a table format you can see that i have the flows and then going from one edge devices to another edge devices and also I'll show you how to check the ETA, show platform software. ET analytics. ET analytics and I'm gonna say global. So you can see that all interfaces is off, but I have a flow record destination sent to 61.11 UDP director which in turn sent it to Stillwatch and these are my ET analytics enabled interfaces. So all these flows now ET analytics is capturing uh, along with NetFlow data it is capturing the intraflow metadata and sending it to Stealthwatch collector. Stealthwatch collector I have a cognitive threat analytics subscription which look into this uh, intraflow metadata pattern and uh, matches for any malware signature and if it is a match you can take action based on that 